Super easy to install, less than 15 minutes to put it together, and then it's ready to wire and it go up. But you, my understanding is you have a much longer track record over in Europe. Can you tell us a little bit about your, your track record and your reliability record? Because we test every single piece of equipment that comes off the assembly line for 24 hours before it leaves. What, what information is accessible on the Fox ESS app? Super easy to install, less than 15 minutes to put it together, and then it's ready to wire and it go up. But you, hey everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from Inner Solar North America, which is the big solar conference they do every year here in San Diego. Now this morning I'm joined by Kyle DeYoung from yes. Fox ESS, and we're gonna be looking at the Fox ESS all-in-one solar storage um, energy management system. So Kyle, uh, good to see you. Thanks Great for taking you. time yeah. to chat with us. Appreciate it, Joe. Yeah. Well, as you know, I mean, this space has gotten incredibly competitive in the past 18 months or so. You know, here where we are in, in Southern California, pretty much all solar is going in with battery storage as Absolutely. well. And we're seeing other accessories kind of make up part of that home energy ecosystem. So please walk us through what is the Fox ESS? What are the different components that make up the system and how does it work? Absolutely. Um, so here we have our PowerQ system, which is a modular system that has a hybrid inverter on top, the BMS system, and then four kilowatt hour stacks that are go, that go down. So essentially you have a 20 kilowatt hour stack all the way down to eight kilowatt hours. Um, and then we have our hub here, which has a 280 amp bus bar, which can also be used as a service panel. So you don't have to do as many MPUs. And when you have this PowerQ system, you can actually have your power go up to 80 kilowatt hours with the four inverters and four stacks in one hub. Um, with that said, like on a 200 amp service. So. Super easy to install, less than 15 minutes to put it together, and then it's ready to wire and it go up. So this is kind of like our main product that we have offering right now, and we have more to come in the future. Great. You know, we, we've, we've seen this type of architecture becoming more popular now where it's modular stackable building blocks. So each of these are, you said, is it four kilowatt hours? Four kilowatt hours. Energy storage? Yeah, 80 pounds, right? Oh. So easy to stack up. 80 pounds each, and then you've yep. got your battery management system here? Correct, which is built into the hybrid inverter. Okay, the 11 so this is all one piece, this top Correct. section? Correct, yes, absolutely. Yeah, so it's all one piece, uh, natural convection, so there's no fans, and no moving parts that could fail. Uh, it's gonna be 11.4 up and 11.4 charge capacity as well, so you can get really fast charging with your batteries. Um, so it's, it's a really nice uh, feature that it, ha that it offers. So 11.4 kilowatts, continuous output power. Continuous output and also charge power, and then it could be AC or DC coupled using Tygo APS uh, or a future microinverter that we have coming out as well. Great, okay. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna have more questions about it. Let's, let's introduce the microinverter next. So you have the Fox ESS microinverter. Is this required or is it an optional component? It's, it's an optional component. It is definitely not required. You can use APS or Tygo if you want optimization uh, with our system. It has the RSS transmitter already built inside, ready to go for you. The microinverter, um, like I said, optional if somebody wants AC coupling and they want to have that panel level monitoring and on each panel, you can use that. We have it in a 600 watt, 800 watt, 1000 watt, and a 1200 watt, and that's going to be the continuous output of each panel that I can do when you divide it by two. So essentially you can go up to 600 watts of continuous output. Okay, and this, this is a two to one, so it's each, each microinverter services two solar modules. That's correct, models. yes. So it'll be a two to one micro. Great, great. Now the, the stack we're looking at here, this, this has five battery modules plus the BMS and the inverter. So this is tw 20 kilowatt hours of storage. Correct. Is that the max capacity for a single stack? That is the max capacity for a single stack for a residential. Uh, if you go commercial, you can go up to seven, seven batteries, which will get you up to 28 kilowatt hours. Um, but in order to meet code in the US, 20 kilowatt hours is the max you can go as far as in a single stack for all in one. Okay. Yeah. Great, great. And of course, you, you are using the lithium iron phosphate. Correct, chemistry. yes. Yeah, it's an LFP, uh, super safe. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, also a high voltage battery. It's not a low voltage battery, so it's going to run cooler, uh, more efficient, which we have 95 uh, round trip efficiency when it's AC coupled, 97 and a half when it's DC coupled. So that's a big, like, a big difference that we have from other, other offers out there. So uh, it's going to run cooler. You have smaller wiring. You don't have to deal with the thick wiring, and it just makes for an easier install. Okay. Well, you know, Kyle, I know one of the one of the issues or one of the questions that installers are going to have out there is, you know, is this reliable? You know, one of the right. things that's really hurt solar installers, especially now that batteries are kind of becoming mainstream and there's a lot more installers that are offering batteries, is this issue of, you know, what's the reliability like long term? Am I going to have to send a technician back out there after the original install to do service or updates or whatever? Yeah. I know Fox is relatively new here in the U.S. market. But you, my understanding is you have a much longer track record over in Europe. Can you tell us a little bit about your, your track record and your reliability record 
uh, in Europe. What, what do US installers need to know about this? Yeah, absolutely. So obviously we're not a startup company. We just came to the US market just recently. Uh, well, the past two years been working it up. So in Europe, it's one of our largest markets, Europe, Germany, UK, Brazil, all those, all those countries. We have a big presence there. We're number, we've been ranked number one for the past three years in multiple markets, including Germany, UK, uh, Portugal, I think we ranked number two for batteries and inverters. So it's not like we're just a small startup company. Uh, to put it into perspective, last year alone, we did 375,000 installs in the UK alone. So lots of volume, lots of, lots of uh, power and batteries that have been pumped out with a failure rate of less than a half a percent. Mm -hmm. So, and the reason why we have such a low failure rate is because we test every single piece of equipment that comes off the assembly line for 24 hours before it leaves. So uh, that helps us to ensure that the product's actually working correctly before it leaves the, uh, the facility. Mm. You know, one question that a lot of folks out there might have is, hey, you know, why, why haven't I heard of Fox ESS before? Why hasn't Solar Surge cover, covered Fox ESS before? Uh, the reality of, is it, guys, is that America is actually behind the rest of the world when it comes of maturity of the battery storage market. Now, I, I've been doing battery storage for the past 12 years plus, but it, you know, up until now, that was been a, been a pretty niche, a pretty niche community here in the U.S. because most of the utilities were offering one-for-one -one net metering. So if you wanted to go solar, you didn't have to worry about storing your own energy. Right. You just power your house during the daytime, send all your excess solar back to the power company, getting a full one-for-one -one net metering credit, and then just pull back in from the utility during the evening. Uh, but as you know, Kyle, like all that's pretty much going away now, right. especially here in California. California is kind of like the trendsetter when it comes to net metering policy. Yeah. So they completely did away with one-for-one -one net metering back in 2023. And if it's this way now in California, the rest of the country is most likely going to be going that way, which means that people are going to be installing batteries more often than not with their solar power system. But anyway, Europe, Europe's been that way for a while now. So if you look at like places like Germany or the UK, Correct. Uh, or even you know Africa, uh, most people already are doing batteries with their solar over there. That's why a lot of companies went to those markets first because there was that the sort of urgent need for battery storage. Right. Well, now that needs coming here. Now we can kind of see the writing on the wall of what this is going to look like. And what this is going to look like is if you want to go solar, you're going to go solar with batteries. You're going to essentially become your own, your own utility company, become truly energy independent, and then just kind of use the power company as the provider of last resort. And that, that's what battery storage gives you with your solar. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, let's talk more about the hub or, yes. the, or the transfer switch. And yes, I know guys, every company calls it a different thing. This is basically the, the, the transfer switch, or this is what allows you to disconnect from the utility grid, but still energize or have a micro grid inside your home. Correct. Kyle, walk us through, how does your solution work here? Yeah, so our hub has uh, three smart circuits in there. They're gonna be 80 amp uh, per circuit. It's a double pole and two single poles. You have a 200 amp uh, automatic transfer switch that's built in. You can hook up a generator to it as well. The bus bar is going to be rated at 280 amps to where if you want to be AC coupled, you can do up to 80 amps. If you want to do a, a service panel, you can use it as a service panel. So as you can see here, you have a, a bonding bar that goes from side to side. You can put a main breaker in here, which would be like a CSR 21, 2200 um, to make it the main service panel, which it's rated for or you have the option to leave it out and just run straight to the grid. So there's a lot of flexibility in here with multiple lugs being able to be installed on, on each bus bar, whether it's backup loads or non-backup loads. Uh, if you have a single inverter, you, if you have a single stack of, of a Fox, you're gonna hook it up to here. If you have a solar, like existing solar, it's gonna go into here. And then you have your smart circuits so over these, here. So these are your three smart circuits here? Correct, okay. yeah. These are the three smart circuits that can be controlled by time of use, battery reserve and all that for load shedding and, and uh, making it more efficient. So um, everyone comes with a, an e-stop in it already, so you don't have to worry about sourcing an e-stop. So that's another, another a perk to that as well. So it's very, very strong, very um, um, independent. So. It's just, it's a really reliable piece of product and hardware and it's been working really well. Great. All right, so Kyle, last, last question for you, or last topic. I'm curious about the app. What, what information is accessible on the Fox ESS app? What can homeowners access once the system's installed? What can, what can they expect to see and how can they can control it? So the app is, uh, we just actually had a re revamp of the app at the beginning of this month. So it's, it's actually very intuitive. You can do a lot of things, installer facing and to the homeowner, the end user. 
You can set the time of use. You can change the different times that you want to charge and discharge. There's actually an M3 setting that you can actually turn that on as well and use it through that. And you can see your constant usage that you're actually producing now, your daily kilowatt hours of production, uh, how much storage you're using, your battery consumption, where you're at, battery reserves. You can, there's a lot of different settings you can do. I mean, the possibility is kind of endless with it. Uh, it's a really clean, sleek app, easy to use. And um, if you need any help with it, there's tons of support to help help work through it. So Kyle, is there anything else that the audience should know about the Fox ESS solution or, or about the company in general? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, first of all, I'd like to encourage you guys to follow us on Instagram, Indeed, Facebook, all that. We post a lot of our projects on there that can keep you up to date on up and coming solutions and installs that we have going on. We're uh, bankable. We have a good, we have a good foundation um, to where we're going to be around for a while. So we're not a startup company. We're going to be here. Um, our founders and our, our co-founders are actually Fortune 500 company as well. So we're vertically integrated also to where we don't have to outsource a lot of our stuff as far as our lithium, our nickel, our um, a steel as well. So we have uh, the largest steel manufacturing company in the world, and they produce 25% of the steel for the world, which is one of our partners. And then we have um, REPT, which is our battery producer, and then we have Fox. So it's it's a uh, we don't have all the mines, and everything goes in vertically integrated to where we have that capacity, and we can really build through um, and make sure we have that product for the customers available. If there's a shortage, you know that you're going to have you know you're going to have your product. Um, and when it comes to availability, we have it here, we have it now, we're ramping up production to make sure everybody can get a Fox system. Great. Well, folks, this has been a brief introduction to the Fox ESS uh, all-in-one solar storage energy management system. Kyle, I think, thank you for taking time to chat with us it's today. It's been a pleasure, though. If you're getting good value from these videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. Uh, that way, as we have new videos coming out, you know, we're going to have at least a couple of dozen videos just from this conference alone, uh, but that way it'll come up on your feed and you, you can stay up to date with everything. But that pretty much does it for today's presentation, and I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. As always, I'm Joe Wardia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.